Hey guys, and welcome back to another Conan Exiles video. Today we are in the southwestern desert, northeast of Skulker's End, building a temple to Jebel Sug. This build was suggested by Toby Joel on my Argosian Temple Build Guide, so thanks for the suggestion, Toby. The last time I built a temple to Jebel Sag was quite a while ago now, and though I have already built all god temples at least once, most of them twice I think, this is probably a good time to mix Aquilonian and Argosian together, as I've been mentioning in the past two videos, to make a new Jebel Sag temple. Before we get started though, we do of course have to thank the sponsors NordVPN. If somehow you haven't heard of them before, NordVPN offers one of the best rated VPN services available, featuring super fast servers in 60 countries, no data logging, 24-7 customer support, double data encryption, the ability to unlock region lock content including Netflix, ITV, BBC iPlayer and such, and more to ensure you always stay safe on the internet. With unlimited bandwidth, a lightweight Chrome browser extension, and the ability to use Nord on up to 6 devices simultaneously including mobile devices, NordVPN is the best way to protect yourself on the internet. It's simple to use one click and you are both connected and protected. NordVPN is great and it's one of the best ways to support me. Each video I make takes roughly between 8 and 12 hours to make, so when you purchase NordVPN through my link you really do help me out a ton. You can get 70% off NordVPN when you visit nordvpn.org slash eradyt, or use code eradyt at checkout, which comes out to $3.49 a month, or about £2.80 if you're in the UK, which is a great price for the service. As always, a massive thanks to Nord for sponsoring the video. So, without further ado, let's get started. Firstly, I'm going to start off with, of course, the base plate. I started by drawing out the edges of the base plate with Aquilonian foundations, and then placing an Argosian gateway at the front of the build and filling in most of the interior, mixing Argosian and Aquilonian foundations. I left hollow sections between some foundations for interior pillars, and then used the new multi-stage pillars outside the build to emulate the traditional Greek temple style, by placing them on every other tile, though I would eventually have to later place pillars on every single block around the perimeter to support the roof. Next for the walls. I started by building Argosian walls up 4 tiles high to match the height of the gate frame. I initially placed windows on the side walls, though I would later remove them, instead placing windows on the front and back of the temple walls. I would then build up walls around the holes between the foundations, which will serve as sort of internal pillars within the temple itself. I built these up 3 tiles high and used vaulted ceilings to start to form the ceiling of the temple. When I had finished the walls and the start of the pillars, I then continued to build up the ceiling of the temple, again using vaulted ceilings. Thank you. 
next for the roof. I built up a perimeter of ceilings around the walls atop the pillars, and then started to build up the roof gables on either side of the build. I then used slope sides to build up the gables and started on the roof. I initially was just going to use Argosian sloped roof pieces, however I instead chose to use a perimeter of Aquilonian roof pieces with an interior of Argosian roofs. I do this a lot in Minecraft with one interior material for the roof and one perimeter material to increase contrast and definition on the roof, and it works quite well here as well. I had to introduce some more support to the roof through the pillars up to the flat rooftop piece section through the ceiling, along with adding those pillars I mentioned earlier around the perimeter of the build. Finally, I added fences around the perimeter pillars and then added some small walkways above the main temple floor. I had a similar walkway style in my original Jebel Sag temple build, so I decided to do the same here but to make them more concise. Finally, when the shell of the build was done, it was then time to of course furnish. Approaching the build, I've lit the outside a small amount using the Argosian wall torches, whereas inside I'll be using a mixture of Aquilonian braziers, Argosian wall torches, hanging Terranian braziers, and one hanging Aquilonian brazier as well.
entering the temple, I've decorated the build very purposefully. I've based the whole structure of the room around the altar to Jebel Sug, along with removing the back wall to include some more natural light, along with keeping the build feeling connected to the environment. It does seem a little strange to have Aquilonian and Argosian soldiers worshipping Jebel Sug, so I've made a little bit of lore for this build. This build was originally a temple to Mitra. However, after an excursion into Dafari territory, the soldiers saw the great power of the Dafari mystics and chose to instead worship Jebel Sug. After returning to the temple and tearing down Mitra's altar, a group of Dafari worshippers constructed the new altar within the temple, allowing worship of Jebel Sag in the desert, and also helping to bolster relations between the Hyborians and Dafari, opening lucrative trade routes between the two groups. And there we have it, a temple to Jebel Sag within the southwestern desert, northeast of Skulkas End. Thanks for watching, and thanks again to Toby for the suggestion. It's nice to refine what is now quite an old and somewhat too big of a build, and I also enjoyed creating just a little bit of lore for an otherwise fairly straightforward build. If you've enjoyed this video leave a like, and let me know in the comments below if you have any build suggestions for future videos. As usual, absolutely anything is welcome. Don't forget to both follow me on Twitch and join the fun on our Discord through the links in the description. Also of course don't forget you can get 70% off NordVPN when you use code IRADYT at checkout or you can go through my affiliate link either in the description or the pinned comment below. YouTube is currently my full time source of income, so if you enjoy the content and would like to help support the channel so I can continue to put out the best content possible, do consider becoming a patron. There are multiple tiers of support from $1 to $20, offering many different benefits from a mention in every video to Discord roles, and even sneak peeks of every new video before anyone else. The link to my Patreon is always in the description, so if you'd like to support the channel, no matter how much you want to pledge, do feel free to consider becoming a patron. During the lockdown, the video previews are usually restricted to the $20 tier, and now available to the $10 tier and above so that anyone that chooses to become a patron at $10 or above just has that little bit more content to watch. On that note, a thanks to our current patrons Sammy, Sadialot, Randar, Motels, and Dawnfox. If you're new here, feel free to check out the rest of the content on the channel. There are new Conan Exiles videos coming every Wednesday and Sunday, so if you like what you see, subscribe and ring the notification bell to be the first to see the next video, and to join us on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.